what is going on guys the melted jedi here today we're going to take a look at how to set up a new server for icarus icarus is a survival game that recently got a update where you can uh an update supporting dedicated server hosts so we are teamed up with g portal we're going to take a look at how to rent a g portal server and set it up as quick and easy as possible uh, there's going to be a link down in the description and the comments that uh, if you use my link, you can save 10% and it helps me out in the process. So go ahead and use my link and uh, sign up for a server today. This Friday, December 23rd, I'm doing a sponsored stream where you can actually come play on the server that we just set up. Uh, it's going to be a different password and all that stuff, but uh, you can join my discord. Link will be down in the description as well as the comments. And you can, um, yeah, you can come play uh, the December 23rd, 2.30. You can come play with me on the server. We're not going to do an outpost. We'll do a survival thing and it'll be a good time. Uh, you can come watch the stream if you don't want to play or if you don't have the game. Come watch the stream at 2.30 p.m. Friday, December 23rd, 2022. We'll see you there. All right, so I went to uh, gportal.com and uh, like I said, the, the link will be in the description. You click on rent a server over on the left hand side, as you see here, and you're going to see like a lot of different games. There's like a tons of titles that you can go ahead and rent. And if you look through, uh, you'll actually find uh, lots of different things, Minecraft and uh, Ark and everything, Valheim, Heat. And here is Icarus here, and it says three days starting at $1.58. Not too expensive. This is really a great price uh, for a lot of different game servers. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this button here, and we can see that we have three days starting at $1.58, which if you're only wanting to run a server for a couple days for you and a couple buds to hop over for a weekend or something like that, it's a really, really cheap price. That's not per day. That's $1.58. Otherwise you can buy 30 days, four slots. So that means you can have three other people joining your server and including yourself for $5 and 50 cents. Oh my gosh, guys. And you're going to save 10% off of that using my coupon link. That's ridiculous. Four slots, uh, 90 days is $15, which is really cheap. Eight slots for 30 days, 11, 17. So if you want to have up to eight people, you can do that. You can also select where your location is and it will give you a ping uh, as far as, you know, how how far away you are from that server. So you're going to be able to select the right server right off the bat, seeing it right here with the ping on the screen. Or what you can do is go over here and click on create your own configuration. And that'll take you to the screen where you can say how many uh, slots you want to have. You know, maybe you want, maybe I want six. Uh, and maybe I want it for 30 days. Maybe I want it in Washington, DC is the closest for me. And then it's going to say it's $8 and 33 cents. You can continue, uh, go ahead and create an account and register if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, make sure you use my link and then you can use different things to pay for it. PayPal, uh, credit card, different, uh, different processes. So. We'll actually click on continue here. I'm going to switch over to my account where I've already logged in. Okay. So once, once you have go th gone through the process of checking out uh, really simple and easy to do like any other website, um, you go ahead and you will find you have a game cloud, which is your server uh, game cloud here. So uh, I'm going to click on my Icarus uh, server. It says it's installing at the top. So that's uh, kind of installing the files and everything needed right now. It's just going to take just a moment to install and uh, you'll be ready to start setting things up. All right. So that took all of about 30 seconds and we are ready to start certain setting things up. You can see it right here at the top. We are offline. We're going to go ahead and click on basic settings here over on the left. And we don't want to turn this online yet. We're going to start setting up a few things here. So the first thing I'm going to call this uh, melted Jedi's test server we have a max of four players uh, we have a server password which we will fill in in a little bit 
We have an admin password, which we'll fill in in a little bit with a custom password there. Uh, load save game. It says server lobby. Just leave that on there. Um, you have the option to load the last save game. That's probably something that you probably want to do. Choose server lobby to create a new save game. If you lose your previous game, the server will load the lobby and shortly after the same game is loaded, it can be seen in game. Allow non-admins to launch prospects. So that would be if you want your buddies to actually launch the prospects in the game, um, you can actually do that if they're not an admin and allow non-admins to delete prospects. So you can choose whether you want that on or not. That is it for the configuration. We're gonna click, we're gonna click save here. Okay, a few other things that we have here on the left, we have configuration files, which is gonna show your configuration that you did of all your settings that you put in your basic settings. You have a log. Uh, once we get the server up and going, you're just gonna generate logs. If you have an error, if you have an issue, you might check the logs or you can find other valuable information in the logs. Auto update. You can choose whether you wanna automatically update the server or not. Uh, most likely when there's a new game update, um, your client's going to update through steam and then the server's going to need updated as well. Now that could kick everybody off that's in without, while they still don't have the update. So you probably want to leave audio update on. You can choose to leave it off if you'd like to. If so, go ahead and hit save restart schedules. You can add a restart schedule. You can say, I want daily restarts. I want them at, uh, 2300 hours and I type in daily restart and click save and that's it daily restarts you can schedule more than one you can schedule them weekly you can schedule them monthly and it's really easy to do backups I recommend to do a fresh backup while you're still got a fresh world there add a new user here you can have access and permissions to your server this is for other G portal users. So you need their G portal name to actually put in a username here, and then they can actually access and administer the server with you. So other than that, we have support, we have forums and we have wikis. What we're going to do is go ahead and enable the server. And we're going to wait for it to start up. So at this point, give the server a couple minutes and then we're going to uh, do a, we're going to shut it back off. We we've let it kind of generate its world and uh, create the files that it needs. And actually, once we see this here that says uh, active players zero of four, we know that you're it's it's actually pinging the server. It's up and ready. So that actually took probably about two and a half minutes, two minutes to uh, to uh, actually launch and load the server. And we're going to go to backup. And I'm going to create a backup just to have a fresh world backup. Now, this will only stay for 28 days. So if you want to, you can also use FTP. And uh, if you want a video on that, let me know how to use FTP. But you can go ahead and backup servers files offline if you need to. Uh, but I, I, I usually create a backup just to just to get it going, uh, just to have a fresh start to go back to if needed. So we're going to start the server up again. All right, so we have moved over to the game. We've launched Steam. We've launched Icarus. We're inside the game now. Uh, over on the left, there's the play button. I'm going to click on play. And we're going to actually launch the game uh, or launch the character selection screen. I'm just going to choose my mind solo. What we want to do is actually go down to the bottom, click on select character. We have an option here to join. You have... Uh, Resume, new, load, join. We're gonna go to join. At the top right, there is a dedicated servers beta. This is a beta uh, access to join these servers because it's brand new. And then basically up here, you can search servers. Um, what we're gonna do is type in your server name. After you've given the started the server up and given it a few minutes to go, you should be able to see your server name. Uh, Melted Jedi's test server. It says the server is currently in lobby selection mode. Are you sure you want to join? Yes. And then you're going to enter the password that you set up, uh, not the admin password, but the actual server password into the box that you set up in the basic settings. So 
this actually isn't blurred out so i'm not going to show this part but i'll be right back okay now we're loading prospects please wait and then we have new so i think what i'm going to do is just go into an outpost maybe uh arcwood outpost and we're going to create a new outpost uh enter the prospect name jedi's prospect and we're going to claim it you can set you know all your stuff grab yourself a suit grab yourself your tools whatever you want to take in your loadout confirm loadout claim this prospect and host the session you're not actually hosting the session the server's hosting the session but your server your friends should be able to connect with the same password that you set up and they should be able to find it in the browser as well all right here we are in the game we're gonna jump in just check out how things look and feel but pretty much that's it you're done don't forget to uh actually go ahead and uh use the g portal link and also this friday december 23rd i'm doing a sponsored stream where you can actually come play on the server that we just set up uh it's going to be a different password and all that stuff but uh you can join my discord link will be down in the description as well as the comments and you can um yeah you can come play uh the december 23rd 2 30 you can come play with me on the server we're not going to do an outpost we'll do a survival thing and it'll be a good time uh you can come watch the stream if you don't want to play or if you don't have the game come watch the stream at 2 30 p.m friday december 23rd 2022 we'll see you there hope you enjoyed the video and this was informational to you if it was give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next one as always keep it melty